but quagmire. Hey guys, it's Giggity Game. We come back with another episode of Pokemon Duel, and today they dropped a they dropped a lot of stuff. Um, they dropped Mega Gyarados. They dropped um, the EV lotions and everything with the UXs. So we're in this video. We're gonna go over them. Uh, I'm going to do the tier thing, and I'm gonna be spending 1,150 gems and getting that. I'm gonna go over. The Gyarados and my, all my opinions on all the stuff that just came out. First, things first, I'll go over Mega Gyarados. And I think with this one, you're going to see a lot of mixed emotions. Me, I think it's a little lackluster. Yes, you're going to evolve them all the way up. Yes, he's going to be hitting for base 180. But is that enough? Especially with the meta going on now with the grass teams that when I run my triple Lorantis, my, at least, or at least double Lorantis, most of my stuff is hitting for over 200. Or it's got a grass knot. So I'm not sure. I mean, he's going to make water decks a lot stronger. He's going to make Greninja a lot stronger. But... I don't think he's going to affect me and my team. I don't think he's going to be... I, I think you're going to see him a lot because he is a free UX figure. And at level 5, he's not going to have any miss. But I don't think he hits hard enough. Yes, you could throw a Manaphy in there, hit for 210. But with, at least with my t Yes, you're going to see him a lot. Um... But I do think he's countered very, very well by Triple Arantis, um and fire teams and stuff. Yeah, but he does he does remove burn. But once you use him once, you could burn. And I think you have to run him with Shaman and have him on at all times. This will prevent burning and everything. So that's gonna be good for him and other water type Pokemon. But, I don't know. He could be worth it. Ah, what, my bad. 100% get him. I'm not sure if I'm going to run him full time. That's my opinion on him. Tell me what you guys think of him in the comment section below. Now. This is a little interesting. Because normally you don't see this that often. They're guaranteeing you a UX figure. It will cost you 1,150. Let's see if these are worth it. Honestly, I think these are, I think they're decent. Eevee, um, basically you can evolve them into 11 different things. And now the new UX figures, which are pretty nice. Uh, he's got takedown, which is 80, 130 he's got baby dollars the blue attacks of the Pokemon hit by this attack will be missed during the next turn which if you attack your opponent has to attack you back or if they attack you got to attack them next turn and their blue disappears um, and then basically he could do the same thing as regular Eevee and just evolve straight up double edge you and the butt of Pokemon are knocked out he will be evoed by that but it's Eevee um Vaporeon by the way all these guys can go through your own Pokemon which is pretty nice I'm not gonna lie and I might have some fun with these uh with counter attack uh, but with Vaporeon it can move through your Pokemon and opposing fire type Pokemon and ground type Pokemon but who uses ground types um if there are Opposing Pokemon on your field, on your entry points, this Pokemon does an extra movement point, which it's a built in counter attack. Not to mention, you run counter attack, you can get a five movement counter attack on him. I saw that in Showtime's video, but right when I saw him, that's the first thing that came to mind is five movement counter attack. Uh, same deal with Jolteon, uh, quick attack, 
um, Thunder Jolt's going to give you Paralyzed, and Volt Switch is going to switch him to another Pokemon on the field, uh, with another Pokemon on the bench, or PC. And he can MP move um, over your Pokemon and opposing Water type and Flying types. Okay, and then Flareon, it can move through your Pokemon and through Grass types and Ice types. Looks pretty nice. And then other ones in this um, booster that I'm going to be opening, which guarantees you UX. Blaziken, don't want. Swampert would be pretty cool. Mega Sceptile, I have already. Mega Ampharos, don't really need. The one I want the most out of any of the Mega figures in here are, is Mega Altaria. So, without further ado, we're going to jump into one of these. And then uh, that's going to be... It's going to be a quick video because I'm going to be streaming uh, around 11 o'clock am eastern standard time around there maybe 11 15 because i get back from class and everything but oh starting off with a kabuskin okay i'll take it and 50 material is this seriously going to push me back every time that's annoying we're going to open up a double now and i'm hoping that I am able to pull at least one of oh at least one of the EVs, but if not two, two would be pretty nice. Uh, one of the regular I want I want a regular UX EV and then one of the evolutions. I think um, Vaporeon would be the best one for me, but we'll see. We'll go now the 200 gem. I believe the next one's gonna be 300 gem. And then the last one's gonna be 500. That I know. Because all 10 boosters are 500. So, let's see. Okay, our first uncommon. Uh, another uncommon. This is guaranteed at least one rare or higher, which is gonna be this one. Stable eye. Eh. Charcoal and swap spot. Alright. Six top lit, which is going to guarantee at least one EX or UX. So if I can pull one of the UX figures, that would be awesome in this. If I could pull more than one EX, we're going to get an EX right off the bat. Let's see. Aggron, that's cool. I could chain level him. I do have a Mega Aggron, which I do want to try out one of these days. Trico, cool. I know Showtime's really rocking a Trico right now. Wimpod. Torchic. Am I seriously just going to get the Aggron? That's it. Gully, uh, Gally, Gully, however you pronounce it, I don't know. Ooh. Another another EX. Finally got a Lucario. That's one of the ones that I have. That, that's one of the ones I haven't gotten. That's a new one. That's awesome. Then finally, finally, one of these. Which is going to leave me around 1,500 gems for the uh, next booster coming out. Okay, there we go. I thought it froze on me. Ten boosters. I want an evolution. If it gives me regular EV, I'm not going to be too happy. Like, just regular EV. I hope it does not give me just regular EV. That would, that would, pretty, that would suck. But... It's an EX. Sceptile. Okay. Uh, that shouldn't be my... No, I get a guaranteed UX. Come on, show me a Vaporeon. Show me... Swablum. Show me something good. Okay. 
Ghastly. Yeah, I'll take rares. That's fine. Here's my UX. It's going to be Mega Altaria. I will take it. No problem. Not a problem whatsoever. If you guys didn't know what he does, um, basically when you activate him, uh, you can jump and basically you got to commit suicide with this one and you can bring back any Pokemon that was banished or in the ultra space. So that is awesome. I'm going to try to run that with my... Um, well, I could run that with triple Swablu and stuff, but I am super pumped that I actually got to pull one of these. Um, that's pretty cool. But uh, that's going to do it for the video. I know it was a, a little bit of a shorter video. But I just want to go over all the update and everything. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And I'll catch you guys uh, in my live stream today in like four hours. So, catch you next time. Peace out, Geekswap.